Calgary Buffalo. Let's hear how you do, followed by Anthony Strathcona. For close to two years, we have been hearing from this government they would be bringing forth an urban drilling policy. Today, unbelievably, we learned that the Minister of Energy is, get this, appointing a task force to review no. urban drilling. Task. To the Minister, why do you continue to shirk your responsibilities to the Alberta people by delaying, by delaying and why not just show some real-life leadership and produce this policy? Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as I said the other day, it's important for me to be able to hear from Albertans. I have spoken with the two outstanding MLAs from us that represent the region. I've spoken with the mayor and will continue to speak to people in the Lethbridge region to find out some issues. It's also, Mr. Speaker, about education, making sure people already know what rules apply, what kind of setbacks apply. And, Mr. Speaker, to go out and to talk to people, which they have asked us to do, is responsible, and I'm doing what Albertans are asking. For supplemental. Mr. Speaker, that answer was complete and utter bunk, and, and the minister knows it. Your ministry has said for two years they were going to produce a policy. Where is the policy, and when are you going to stop hiding behind these task forces and get on with the business of providing families and communities with certainty around urban drilling? Hey! Honourable hey. Minister. The Honourable Member is using the word task force. What I've talked about, Mr. Speaker, is having roundtables that we're going to uh, bring people together on. And we're going to bring people in, in northern Alberta, in central Alberta, and in, in southern Alberta to make sure that people, first of all, Mr. Speaker, understand the rules that we have in place. The safety of Albertans is first and foremost. We want to make sure that the evacuation plans are pl in place, whether you live in urban or rural Alberta. But, Mr. Speaker, first and foremost, people want the education piece so they actually understand understand what the rules are that we have in place today. Final supplemental. Again, Mr. Speaker, I'm befuddled here, so I'll ask it again. Your ministry has been at this for two years. They've stated for two years they would develop an urban drilling policy. Are you guys uh, unable to do this? Are you incompetent? What is the problem that you cannot deliver an urban drilling policy despite all the rhetoric from that side? Mr. Speaker, I have said from day one since I've been the Minister of Energy, we will develop an urban drilling policy, but we'll do it based on facts, do it based on education. Mr. Speaker, currently right now, depending on the level of sour of these wells, they go from setbacks from either 100 metres to 1,500 metres. Mr. Speaker, there's a lot of information that we, needs to be shown and, and, and uh, given to Albertans first, and we will, as I have said already, Mr. Speaker, we will have an urban drilling policy, but we'll do it in consultation with urban and rural Albertans. Yeah.